Today I'm going to teach you how to make these lucky tree spirits made out of stoneware clay. Start with about a pound and a quarter of stoneware clay. Rip around the edges. This clay that you pinch off around the edge is going to be used for the forehead and the nose. I want to tell you about these paint savers. If you're an oil or acrylic painter, these paint savers are a new way to save the paint right on your palette. They'll save you a fortune in paint. You just take your leftover piles of paint and stick these cups right over top of your unused piles of paint right on your palette. They have a sticky gasket that creates an airtight seal that saves your paint for weeks and weeks. Great, great product. You can find them at paintsavers.org or on Amazon. Okay, so you take about three quarters of the clay that you pinched off for the forehead and put it almost halfway down. And then pinch off a little bit that you're going to use for the nostrils and the eyes. sure you get the nose centered. Let's kind of tap it all in. for the nostrils and the other half will be for the eyelids. I make these and sell these in Kalispell, Montana through a little artist co-op called Paint, Metal, and Mud. So if you don't want to make your own Lucky Tree Spirit, you can order them there. The Legend of the Tree Spirit. Legend of the Tree Spirit. 15th century Europeans believed trees maintain good and the most powerful of all spirits. Before entering the forest, they would knock on the trees to wake up the sleeping spirit to protect them. This is where the saying, knock on wood, originated from. Tree spirits have a great sense of humor, gentle wisdom, and will bring good luck to your home. Okay, and then I take the bridge of the nose and just pull it down a little bit. the eyes which are closed makes it a little easier all you make it are the eyelids blend up and then just push down underneath hole 
for the wire to go through. Wrap a wire around this twig, put it through the hole, and make this hook on the back. Then after that's done, you put moss, berries, dried flowers, and then I drip varnish on it, wait for that to dry, and then varnish the whole thing. And then it makes it nice and durable. So we can sign the back now. And then I just do a couple more pinches off of it to give it a little bit better form. Try to make them even on both sides. And for the eyebrows, I use this icing dispenser with slip, which is clay mixed with water. And use a fork just to comb it out. And then to finish it, tube gives it a little bit more rounded dimension and then I just kind of flute the edges a little bit and that's about it and they'll look like that you bisque fire them to 1600 degrees and then you put them in an outside fire pit with wood and that gives them the dark color. Lucky tree spirit. And don't forget about your paint savers. Paintsavers.org or on Amazon. Save you a fortune if you're an acrylic or oil painter. Thank you.